my eye. I'm back. Yes. <laughs> Cheers. How are we all? Good, I hope. Um, I am Kelly McWilliam from Kelly McWilliam Sugar Artist. Um, I'll be on Cake Flicks TV for the next few weeks. Cake Flicks, Kel Flicks. Kel Flicks sounds better. We'll work on a name change. Um, I'm going to be focusing mainly on modelling because that's what I like to do. Um, and we'll be modelling just all things creepy. I don't do sweet or cute or Disney. I just, I can't. <laughs> can't do it. Um, so if creepy is not your thing, it might be your thing after this. Who knows? Um, David will be here. He likes to oversee things just to make sure I'm behaving myself. And Blow Up Paul will be making an appearance. Paul likes to um, pop in from time to time. He's into Lycra just now. Loves a bit of Lycra, don't you? Um, so yeah, so we will be making creepy guys, drinking some rum, uh, Hulk smashing Paul in the face. Uh, so come on over, come and watch, come and join in. You're not doing anything else on a Sunday, so it should be the law. You come and watch Cape Flicks and mainly watch me. Um, so let's get going. Cheers. Okay, let's get going. Heaps to do. Um, so we're going to be making these guys, my little creepy mushroom men, because I love a creepy man. Um, so basically, how I start these ones off is underneath this, um, model and paste, this is just covered in model and paste, is polystyrene egg. Um, I use these just because it's something nice and, and sturdy for when I put the, the mushroom caps on the top because they can be a little bit heavy. Um, so I usually like to make sure that I've got something pretty sturdy underneath. You could make it edible if you wanted to, it's totally up to you guys. I just prefer it work this way. You guys can do whatever you like. <laughs> um, I just like doing this. So what I would do for that is cover this egg in modeling paste. Um, there you go, rough shape, how it starts. And then I would slap it on the floor. I wouldn't slap it on the floor. I would put it on my table, place it nicely on the table. Palms of your hands, like your way to start a fire. Yeah. Rub them together. Cone shape. You can make this as rough, as bumpy, as lumpy as you like. Just don't make it smooth or I'll be very annoyed. <laughs> These guys are supposed to be rough. I don't do smooth either. So there you go. This, cover it in model and paste in a cone shape. There you go. That's how these little guys start off. Um, so there you go. I would then, I usually take my tool, we're going to mark out the face. So for any of my faces, um, I would usually mark it out, whether it's a creepy face or I'm attempting a realistic face. Um, so I would usually just mark a line down the middle and then one across where I want the eyes to be. And then I, I like to take my little ball tool and I just do three. Do one, tiny one in the middle, three. So I've got eye where the nose is going to be, eye. Eye, eye. <laughs> then, now I'm going to put these in. Now I have no idea what these are called. Draggies, Dragies, Drogos, Dragons, I don't know. <laughs> Drages. Um, my teeny, teeny tiny balls. That's what we shall call them. Um, so these are just shoved in there. A little bit of water, stick them down. So there is your eyes. So now we are going to roughly mark out the face. Now this is going to be rough. Um, do not spend too much time on this. 
because you might change it, you might not like it. You can move stuff about if you want. So take two little sausages and just stick them down, just roughly. You'll hear that word a lot. Just shove it on. <laughs> um, for modeling the faces, I don't just do um, modeling, uh, modeling paste by itself. I mix it with modeling chocolate. Um, so I use Cake Duchess modeling chocolate and I use Laura Doddy Maid's um, the chocolate bar. So I just mix the two together because I just prefer working that way. I can sculpt the face better. It blends in for me better. So that's what I like to do. The only problem is my hands get very hot. <laughs> it sticks to my hands. I'm hot stuff, people. I'm hot stuff. Can't be helped. It's a curse, really. So that, again, is just... Just take a little bit of paste, like two little sausages. And this is roughly where his cheekbones are going to be. So just kind of roughly flatten that. Flatten that down. Try not to cover the eyes too much just yet. We can work on that later. Here we go. So use your tools, use your fingers, use whatever. Stick it down. Sometimes if stuff's not sticking, I'll use a little bit of water. So there you go. That's roughly where the cheeks are going to be. Isn't he handsome already? <laughs> um, now you're going to take a little bit of paste, we're going to do the top lip. Now you've seen these guys, you're not going to see the top lip because their bottom lip comes so far up, but you still need to, it still needs to be there. Um, so I just take a little bit of paste, probably like size of a, size of a bean, and I'll just slap it there in the middle. Oh, smash. And again, do not be too uh, detailed with this yet because we're going to put the details in after. And I was just putting a little bit of water um, just to blend it in a bit. There we go. So don't have it sticking out too much. But I roughly want his mouth bottom lip probably to come about there so I just place that down there we go just flattening that out a little bit because it was a bit too high up I hope you can see that alright so there you go. Lovely. Now, I believe uh, we are going to a commercial break, people, where you will likely see Mr. Bradford displaying his new purchased Lycra. Um, see you in a minute. Adios.
Master Program. Welcome back, people. Did you enjoy your Lycra show by Paul? <laughs> Mr. Bradford's and his Lycra. Right, enough of him and his Lycra. Let's get back to work. So we're going to do the bottom lip. Um, depending on how big you want it. I mean, this one's smaller, bigger. You can choose. Um, I'm going to just take another bit of paste. Not quite flat. Still thick enough. But just kind of flatten it down a little bit. And I'm going to put it about there. Because you want to have room to have a little chin. And you can have some space down here if you want. It's totally up to you. Here we go. Now, you want to have the lip sticking out a bit. So you can either take your tool and just pull it down like that. Or you can pinch it if you want, just with your, your finger and your thumb. There we go. Just need to get in there. So there you go. Look at that miserable guy. <laughs> he looks like my husband. I'm only joking. My husband looks more miserable. <laughs> so if you just push underneath, you can push the lip really high up if you want. Just depends how you, see if you can see it from the side there. It sticks out a fair bit. So however big or small you would like the lip. Oh, can't stick it back on there. I'm going to go pretty big. Right, let's do the nose. And then we can tinker around later. So, nose. Again, big nose, small nose. Totally up to you guys. But how I start the nose, I usually... Tiny bit of paste. Just like a sausage. We love the sausages. And then... Probably a little bit too much, actually. Take a bit off. I've shrunk. So, sausage. Squash it in. And this is quite fiddly, but if you can just go either side, just pull it down. Push it up. It's a lot of just moving this about to till you're happy with the shape of your nose. There we go. So yeah, you could have the nose away up here. You could have the nose away down there. It totally depends on how you want your guy to, your look, to look. And then I'll take the ends, just mark out his nose just now. And then you can make them bigger by taking a bigger stab at it. <laughs> and then with the nose, just kind of push it up a little bit because these guys have got kind of piggy noses. Slightly, you have to be a little bit gentle here, but the good thing is you can have a you can have a play and tinker around with it a lot, but more time than me. Paul's uh, timing me this time. I get electric shocks if I don't uh, stick to time this time. <laughs> So there we go, that's a rough kind of nose. You guys could obviously 
play about with it. And I'm just going to put two little bits of paste just down here just to balk out the cheeks. Doesn't he look pretty? There we go. So just kind of blend it in. But again, the good thing with the with these guys is that you don't have to be perfect. You can have them looking any way you like. Character. There we go. I should have made a Paul one. Or a Paul and David one. <laughs> Maybe I have to do that next time. There we go. Blend it all in. Doesn't he look pretty? And we're gonna give this guy, once you've blended that in, so it's, you'll notice the cheeks don't look so harsh now. There's not so much of a kind of harsh line. Okay. You can start putting a little bit of detail in, so we'll just mark off the top lip and down. There we go. Uh, give him a wee chin. Or a big chin. Depends if you like a Bruce Forsyth chin. Or a teeny tiny chin. I'm going to give him a big fat chin. So, just a tiny bit of water. There we go. Uh, roughly in the middle. That's what we'll do. And then just blend this in underneath. Voila. There you go. And then you can start tinkering around with the details of it. I like to, I don't know if you can, if you can see that, I like to a little bit, just poke your tool, technical word, poke, oh, don't headbutt your camera. <laughs> just because if you put two little poke marks <laughs> at the side of his mouth, you can darken that um, when you're painting and it makes the, the teeth and everything stand out a bit better. Shading. This is the fun bit when you get to start painting it. So you can add, you can add as many details in as you like. Um, the last thing I would probably do would be put some, some eye bags. He's a tired mushroom. So you just take a little bit. Oh, it's stuck to my finger. How dare it. Get off. There we go. Get off. <laughs> that pa it was quite attached to me there. So just put little bits of paste underneath and just give him some eye bags. If you're not quite sure what they look like and you don't have any. Just have another look at my face. Use my face for inspiration for the eye bags or Paul's. You choose. There we go. So make sure you're not covering those little uh, eyeballs. There we go. If you've squashed your nose like I just did, just move it back. 
Make it a bit smaller if you want. There we go. Just mark up here just so you can... Oh look, he's so sad and depressed. He's had enough of lockdown, look. Raging. <laughs> so we will have another break and then we will paint this little face. Cheerio. Okay, uh, before we start painting, let's stick on his ears. So just two little pieces of um, your paste. Stick them on. And poke it in there. And poke it in there. Fair word. <laughs> very technical word and um, you can spend a lot more time on them than I'm going to I'm just going to do some quick quick ears but usually just poke a hole in the middle and then just use a tool just to get a kind of ear your shape, you all know what yours are look like, you've all got them. But yeah, you guys can spend more time on that. So let's get painting. Uh, with my fancy paint palette. Uh, I'm mixing up some uh, skin tone color, a little bit of white. These are um, fractal colors. And these ones are dusts. Uh, and the white that I'm using is theirs is a, just a gel color. So I've just made it, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that, but I've just made it a kind of skin tone, but kind of grayish kind of color. So just slap it on. You don't need to be super, super neat. Make sure you get the ears as well. You don't have to have uh, funky colored ears. Don't worry if you get the eyeballs, you can clean it off. This is the best bit, again, to paint. You can see that all right. So he's kind of got a skin tone, but it's <clears throat> kind of grey and miserable, like his face. And seriously, don't be, don't sit and go, ooh. <laughs> Just slap it on. So there you go, that's kind of like your base base color and then we are going to give him some nice rosy cheeks so I'm just taking a little bit of red this is gonna look scary to start with but I promise you it'll, it'll look good <laughs> top it there there bit on his chin we're just um, making the Rosy cheeks, rosy forehead. <laughs> now you're probably looking at that thinking, Jesus, <laughs> that's a red cheek. But trust me. So once you've put some of that color on, you take your brush, the state of that, yeah. Um, 
not really wet, just slightly damp, and then you're just gonna, because you've already got color on there that's a little bit damp, a little bit wet. So you're just, you can see that, you're just blending it in. So you can just, just blend about with it. And you can see it looks, starts to lighten as you take some of it away. You see the difference, and I hope it's showing up, but. And if you think you've gone too red, either take a bit of white and lighten it up a bit more. If you think you've gone a bit, he's gone a bit OTT with the rouge. You can just lighten it. Give him a red, red nose. So you can see the difference between that side and that side. Well, I hope you can. <laughs> so my brush isn't, isn't wet, but it's not really dry either. But you're just giving him some color in his face. And again, slightly too much, so just wet the brush. And just take some of it off. So you're until you're happy with the color that you've that you've got there we go there we go happy I'm happyish with that I don't have a uh, heaps of time so I will move on <laughs> I'm gonna take some brown take some brown up his nose just to darken it up because a bit more detail and then just darken around his eyes you can make him as grubby or as non-grubby as you like totally up to you guys but at least <clears throat> when you're adding the brown just think about shading the face and where you want the light bits to be, the dark bits, or how grubby you want them to be. This is the, the fun part where you can make them come alive. There we go. You can really darken up down, down the bottom if you wanted. A grubby character that he is. As you can see, I'm still, uh, we're still in the rough painting. <laughs> I think I'm incapable of being neat. If you were super neat, I suppose you could make this guy uh, as neat as you like. And if when you're painting, things start moving, you can always just take your tool and squash it back. This is sometimes a good good point to start adding in some extra lines if you wanted. I'll show up. I'm just going to take off some of that colour that I put on his eyes. There we go. Always go over that with some black if you wanted. So 
going to do a little bit of red. Uh, give him some nice red lips. Don't be too neat with this either. But just also make sure you don't give too harsh a line either. You don't want it to be looking like he's got super red lipstick. Because <laughs> he is not wanting that. And then take some brown. I'm just going to poke the, the brown down the bottom here at the corner of his mouth. I'm hoping you can see that, that it just kind of darkens it, makes it stand out a bit more so you can... There we go. So it is just, just like painting a picture of a very ugly man. <laughs> Around the corners of his nose. It's just to make the face stand out a bit more. Because if you don't do the light in the dark parts, it's just a flat face. And that's not what you're after. Maybe it is. <laughs> but not today. Darken his lugs. His wee lugs could grow ties in them. Or for people who are not uh, familiar with lugs. <laughs> I mean ears. You could grow potatoes in those. <laughs> I'll be interested to see if I've actually uh, done this in the right amount of time. <laughs> I could always like super speed my video. Now I'm just darkening the top of here, very carefully. <laughs> but the good thing with these guys, the rougher the better. Again, if you think you've gone a bit over the, I think I've gone a bit over the top, then you just Wet your brush slightly, make sure it's not soaking wet, it's just more damp. And then just go around it. There you go. And then... I hope my pen's got some stuff left in it. Just gonna go over the eye. Yeah, that makes it stand out a bit better. There we go. And then last but not least, we're gonna give him a few teeth because I like making things with teeth. <laughs> Disgusting teeth, I will add. Never nice straight teeth. So this is fiddly. Sometimes it'll stick to your fingers, sometimes it won't. So just cut a little bit off. Pop it on. Oh, get off. It's sticking. There we go. It's better. Behave yourself. Behave yourself. And then, see, I've got two, my hands are too manly. <laughs> got proper man hands. Just get little bits of fun.
So we're gonna <clears throat> give him a few more teeth. Just cut a little bit. I'm gonna roll it up and just pop it in there till it's a nice. So we'll keep going a couple, couple more teeth on there. There we go. Who fancies giving him a wee smooch? You can also as well, just for detail, just do some lines on his lip. Just makes it a little bit more realistic. There we go. And then I'm just going to put some sparkly stuff on. Just to make him shine a little bit. This is a shining dust. <laughs> and it's got like a green kind of shimmer to it. Oh, too much. Never too much. So it makes us a. If you can. Oh, you can. You can see that. Beautiful. He looks miserable, but he's shiny. That's a, that's a really cool dust, that one. I don't like cute and sweet things, but I do love a bit of glitter. <laughs> bit on your nose, mate. There you go. So there he is. That is his face painted. Dun, 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 dun. You can obviously spend a lot more time than I did. And you're probably thinking you spent ages on that <laughs> for the size of it. <laughs> it's the time it takes me, people. So we're going to quickly, going to move this guy and put him there. Let's rest him up against that. And then we're going to do mushroom head. Now I'm going to do super quick with this one. Um, this one is actually, I mixed up, where is it? I mix up some marshmallows and um, Rice Krispies and some fondant and I squashed it all together because, I mean this one doesn't have as much fondant on it as this one, um, but you get the idea. It's <clears throat> basically just to give it a bit more kind of lumpy bumpy kind of texture really. Like that one, I've covered quite a lot of it up, but underneath, it's quite nice to have the mushroom at the top of his head. You can see it better on, on this guy. But you see, hopefully you can see it better on that guy. But you can see it's quite bumpy, lumpy and disgusting. There we go, oh, let's cover it up. So painting this is always fun because I make a complete mess. <laughs> so basically, because these guys are all red, I take all my red Ooh. take all of my red now you could do this in a bit of kitchen roll if you don't want to have uh, hands like mine at the end. <laughs> so just go around. Painting. Now you could just leave it like that if you wanted. Um, but I don't want to. Because I suppose you could just leave it like that. Look. Ooh, lovely. Um, I'm just going to show you kind of what I get up to with it. Now that's just a dust. That's purpley kind of claret kind of dust. But when you put it onto wet paint, 
it makes it look darker. And as you can see, again, <laughs> I'm not being very careful with what I'm doing. But I'm gonna move this. Can you see that? See how it's like dark around the edges? I prefer to do, I'm doing the, I mean, you could look at pictures of mushrooms and get a proper um, realistic kind of color if you wanted, but this is my party and I'll do what I like. <laughs> Pop that down there for a minute. So it's like a really nice kind of ready color. Sorry, just getting my kitchen roll. Um, and basically, I'm just gonna wet my brush a little bit because I don't wanna take too much color off because I quite like that color. It looks beautiful. So I'm gonna take a little bit of paper towel, a little bit of water, and then you don't have to do it so dramatically. I don't know what I thought I was doing there. It's like, ta-da! <laughs> Again, just kind of rough. Just take off bits where you want bits taken off. And it just makes it, gives it a bit more interest. It's not so flat. But then again, look, you could take too much off. And you can be left with that, but never fear. Just take some of the color from the edges. You can just go back up again. You can add a different color, like a, that's the skin tone color I was using for his face. You can take a bit of the gray if you wanted. It's just the painting part of it's the fun bit because you can just play about, do whatever you like. If you don't like it, just take the colour off. Don't like that bit. I don't like it. Take it off. Took too much off and then just blend it back in again. So you can never, you can never screw it up. You can always fix it. The only thing you can't fix is if you sit on it. <laughs> then it is beyond help. So there you go. That was really that was really quick. Again, you can just you can play about with colouring it differently. Um, you can play about with um, the size of it if you want it bigger, smaller. And then I've done this back to front. Put a little bit of water or a little bit of glue. I'm just going to put some water on it just now. You have time to. You'll have time to put a, uh, stick it down properly. There you go. And then when you stuck it on, you can kind of play about with it a bit more. You can have a bit up, have a bit down. You can push it back so you see more of his face. Do whatever way you like. And if you've got red underneath, which obviously I'm gonna have because my hands are ridiculous. Just give it a wee paint. Get some white. You could also use some brown. Just to darken underneath. And just do little flicks up the way. And then it's a bit more detailed underneath as well. And I've just also realized that I didn't actually tell you how I did underneath. <laughs> We've done it back to front. See, this is why Paul and David, you should have kept me right there. So it's their fault. So we'll blame them. 
So I don't know if you can, that's pretty, well, I can't really see that, but I'll show you on one of the other guys that we made. There he goes. There is your mushroom man. Kind of wrecked the back of his head there. <laughs> kind of squashed him a bit. There we go. Fix his head. There you go. He can go and sit with his friends in the corner. There we go. I'm going to quickly show you what I should have showed you. <laughs> oh, where's he gone? There they are, look. Beautiful. Um, yeah, what I should have showed you before I started painting the top is, and take this guy's head off, is the underneath. So obviously it's good to have that as detailed as possible as well because it just adds a little extra bit to it. But um, let's, do a, let's do a quick bit. So, get your paste or your, let's do this actually, I'll show you, squash that in. So, make a little Roll it up into a ball, squash it down. You can kind of see there the bumps and the lumps that that's kind of left behind. And then for underneath, so it's like this. I usually mark it in the middle. So to hold in the middle, and I do it like a clock, just like one, two, three, Four. I just kind of quarter it out and then that way I can just do it in sections and they're all a bit more uniform. I hate that word uniform. You will not tear that out my mouth very often. <laughs> but it's good to have a um, these down first just so you've not made it too messy and then just go in between them and just keep going round. Round and round and round. And you can make some, you know, lighter kind of, kind of strokes. You can go deeper, you can go really deep. Just so you can get, because if you put the deeper ones in, you can put some brown paint in those. Look at that, I just uh, messed that bit up. Let's pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> so that's kinda how you start to get that. I've got a knife somewhere. Somewhere, it's ran away. So we'll just keep using this, but you would just basically you just go round and round and round until you are happy with how many cuts that you've made, just to give it a bit more realistic looking mushroom head. I think they're called, it's not called the gills or something, something like that. So there you go. That's that. And then what I've done there is I've just painted it white with some, where's the, get the white paint. I'll do it again, like. A nice back to front tutorial, how about that? <laughs> So white all the way around. Oh, 
I dropped it. And then, as I was doing with this guy, you take some brown and just in between the grooves that you've made already, you just, you can start off quite dark. And just every so often, just do some. And it just darkens up, gives it a bit more texture. Makes it look pretty. If you like grubby things. That <laughs> if you think grubby's pretty, I do. And because you put the white on it as well, it kind of goes the kind of a dirtier kind of color. There you go. Also with that, to paint underneath and paint in the top, that is messy, it's messy work. <laughs> um, you can obviously, you guys will have more time to do it, but for this one especially, I waited until, I mean, it's set pretty hard. So you wouldn't do it straight away because it's not set enough and it's hot with my hands. Um, so you would just wait until that was quite hard and then you can really put lots of um, details in when you're painting. Put that behind there so you can see. Let's take his head back on. So there you go. There is my mushroom guys. You can see them. Ooh, a bit dark. So again, let's lift this guy up. What should we call him? Frank. <laughs> so that is your finished mushroom. You can obviously take more time. What shall I do with all these guys? So I hope you enjoyed that, people. If not, sorry. <laughs> but we will catch you. We'll call this one Barry. Me and Barry will catch you on the next exciting episode of my ramblings. Bye-bye. <laughs>